Hello there, this is a, a short video I'm making about this instrument I've just finished restoring. Uh, it's an early 1900s ballback mandolin made by Peretti. I don't know anything about the maker, so uh, your guess is as good as mine. Um, it's very much your typical ballback mandolin, this one. Uh, alternating banding around the edge of the top. Uh, pick guard is... Uh, we call it tortoise shell. It's it's probably fake tortoise shell actually, rather than the real stuff. But um, I'm quite pleased about that. I think. And um, and the rosewood back on the ribs. And there wasn't too much to do uh, with this one. There in restoration, there was the usual. Uh, split between two of the ribs in the back, which has been glued and. Uh, reinforced with a couple of cleats inside. The whole thing has been, uh, the French polish has been redone throughout as you can see hopefully by the, by the shininess. Uh, fingerboard has been levelled and refretted and obviously the whole thing has been set up uh, and with a new set of new tone lightweight strings. And uh, oh, last but not least, I've added a new uh, sleeve guard on the end here, so you don't catch your uh, catch your arm on the end of the strings down there. Um, action on this one is 1.5 millimeters at fret 12, which is sort of kind of average for um, reasonable quality mandolins when they ship sort of from the factory. So people like uh, Collins and, and even Gibson will uh, will ship their mandolins with that sort of action. Personally, I like it a touch lower than that if I can get it. Um, but on this one, I have run out of room with the bridge to take it any lower. Um, so if you wanted the action lower, you would have to replace the bridge, um, probably with just sort of a, a sort of a bone. Uh, saddle rather than you know a no sort of bridge if you see what I mean. Um, sound wise, um, this was quite nice. Uh, the the, um, the instrument I did up before this was a Stridente and a, a rather more upmarket model um, than this one would appear to be, um, but actually sound wise they're almost identical. So you've got that real sort of ringing sustain that you get. Very typical rosewood backed ball back mandolin sound. And uh, I suppose just try and demonstrate to you uh, what it sounds like. So if I can try and do some tremolo. And uh, so as you would expect, uh, you know, the sound from these ballbacks tends towards the upper registers and um, you get that very clear, very sort of penetrating sound when you're... Kind of all the way up there. Uh, and obviously, you know, um, after the refret, the instrument now is, is playable all the way up and down the neck. And um, new frets should keep you going for, uh, well, maybe maybe not another hundred years, but at least a few more years anyway. So, um, 
let's try and finish off with just a few tunes to uh, to give you an idea of how it sounds, and then you can make your own mind up. And um, that's probably all I really want to say about this one. Uh, it's it's a nice, honest instrument that was a pleasure to work on, and um, I hope someone makes it a, a, a fine new home. Mm -hmm.